what's up you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are still doing well out there. Uh, a lot of requests for this and you know I've got to break it down. It's kind of a weird tuning. I'll explain it all. We'll zoom in. Uh, you can do it with a slide. You can do it without a slide. The slide is fun but you can play it without one and the fingering I'll show you how to do it. Uh, also I've got uh, some bonus blues lick lessons that are not on YouTube. I've got a link for them down there, um, you know, like DVD quality stuff. Plus you can, you know, check out the links for my social media stuff like Facebook. I really appreciate all that and I try and answer you guys, so thank you. Uh, but let's zoom in and we'll break this one down right now. Here we go! To get into this lesson, the first thing we're going to do is uh, get into the proper tuning. And I researched this song and it's actually an open G and then they slowed the tape down to make it go even a whole step lower. So if we want to match up to the recording, which is what I did, uh, we go into drop C tuning. And I just recommend that you have some kind of tuner, a tuner app on your phone, uh, electronic tuner, they're, they're pretty cheap, pretty easy to get. So the first note is going to be a C, a low C. So if you're in standard tuner, you're going to lower it down until you get to this pitch here. a C. The next string we're going to tune down from an A down to an F note. So we have C and F. C, F. Then we're going to lower the D down a whole step to C. So you'd have C, F, C. Then you have this normal G up a whole step. I'm sorry down a whole step to F. So you'd have C, F, C, F. And then your B goes down a whole step to an A note. So you'd have C, F, C, F, A, and then finally a C. Now, something that's interesting about this song is uh, this low string is really not used at all. It's not there. The chord is actually all these without that one. And it should sound like a nice full chord. Tune it down a little bit. Check this chord out. So an open chord, you're going to have some options. I think the original for the opening is this, is this voicing, but I think the easiest thing to do, if it's really hard for you, you can play open. And remember, we're not playing this string at all. You could literally take the string off and play this whole song. So you got... I like adding my index finger to the third fret of the B string for that open chord. It's just a little more power chordy sounding. And you're going to also want to do that on the... But anytime we do this, an open chord will work. But I just like this a little more. It sounds a little more like the recording. Okay. So check it out. We're going to focus now on these three strings here. And we're going to go like this. I think this part's actually without a slide, um, but I like to play the whole thing with the slide because it's super fun and there's nothing to think about. You're playing a slide the whole time, but it would look like this. So it starts on the third fret. Okay, so we're going and then I'm adding my finger there to get that open chord. You can hear that, they almost sound the same, there's a little more rock when you add that note. Okay, so check it out. 3 O chord. So check it out. it up a whole step. Here's the whole thing. 
And then it starts over. And then to pick it up, you go. So check it out when we add that. Here we go from the top. So the only difference is, you know, and if you were to do the slide for that riff, you just do that slide and we want to, we don't want to press all the way down like we would with our fingers. It would sound like that and that sounds bad. And we want to get, if we're going for the third fret, we want our finger to be right above the metal fret, which is different than when we're fretting a note with our finger. It would be kind of, you know, right above it here. But with the slide, we want it to be right above it, lightly touching it, not pressing down all the way. And then I'm using my middle finger and index finger. You know, if the slide wasn't down, it'd be, it's like buffering the strings. But then when I put this in front of it, when I put the slide in front of it, to slide into it. And you can still add your finger to that chord right there. singing going on, it doesn't do the riff as many times. It's more of a... It does three of those. Then the... Right before uh, before the singing has even started, it goes into that where where it does three of them like that. And then you've got. And so what we're doing from there is we're focusing on all the strings except for this low one here. We're right on, we're going to use the slide, and we're right on the... Right there on uh, the eighth fret. And we just kind of strum it. And we go up a whole step, so... Eight, 10, 10, and a cool kind of tricky thing if you want to get that finger down, we're going to go like this, 5, 3, covering all those, 
and then five open. But you can get your index finger there. So it's like, and I'm going to use the slide. But you could survive by going. section or just the other section it keeps playing this open chord which is all the strings except for this low one again remember we're not playing this low one at all so we've got we strum it once open you know and there's a lot more chimey might even be a 12 string electric but it's uh, a little bit of distortion I'm playing it clean to give you a, a sense of all the notes so we've got the open and then we're playing the 12th fret. Then open again. And then the same thing on the 7th fret. So we've got open. Open. Try and get that high E. I'm, or it's not the high E anymore because of the tuning. But I mean, you know, this string here. So we've got... Then we're down on the fifth fret. That's all the same. We're on the fifth, then seventh, then tenth, twelfth. really fun slide thing that happens over it. Um, you know, when I'm soloing, I'm trying to use the meat of my fingers for a little warmer tone. And whatever note or string you're plucking, you're muting the rest of your strings with your right hand when you're doing single note stuff. So we're going like this. 12 down to 10 slide, then 12 on the B. then slide back up from the 10 to the 12. But with a slide, it sounds like this. Okay. Fun, we get to do the exact same thing. Don't have to learn anything new, the exact same thing. But starting on the seventh fret. So it's 
So look at my thumb there. I'm muting that B string when I hit that high E. And then when I hit the B with my thumb, my middle finger is muting that high E. Otherwise, it all rings out together. Okay, now the next one is on the five, almost the same, but instead of a whole step slide down, it's a half step. Just like we did in the chordal part, So that next one starts the same, but then slides up to the 17th of the high E. Then the second phrase starts the same way, and then you just slide down to the 10 of the B. So when you put those together, oh, sorry. Okay, then. You do that first one again, the high one up to 17, then a whole step down, just like that. So you uh, hear the chords. So then from there, it's kind of just variations of those themes. He does a few high ones in a row. You know, that kind of thing. Then he repeats this as a blues lick. Hope it helped. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, remember, I've got those bonus blues licks and other links like Facebook and all that stuff. I appreciate that support very much. And thank you, thank you. And we'll see you in another one of these real soon. Take care.